everybody this is yelly from elisa ravel stickers oh gosh no this is just some little whatever dust i don't know what it is so anyway um i was saying that um this is yelly from elisa ravel stickers and i know you see a lot of yellow but bear with me you will find out what's going on um so a funny story right i received my planner and i filmed the video on friday as soon as i got it and i was kind of telling you guys when i was going through it that um the patterns are so cute that you might not want to use the top washi on the kids but maybe just a strip with uh with the days of the week and i'm coming up with this idea because i feel that this is so cute that i don't want to cover it and then you know when i'm stewing onto an idea and i'm having like uh this idea coming up and i'm going around it and then one of you asks me to do it it's like instant validation for me and that's what happened so um danielle was like you know what um i think this would be great and and of course i immediately was like two minds great minds think alike because I was uh, kind of ruminating and starting to work on that. Um, I mean, not starting to work on that because as soon as I finished filming this video and got the idea, I went to my Etsy shop, but I opened up everything to start to work on that. And I received the message and I was like, oh my gosh, this needs to be this way. Okay, so um, a lot of talking. Let me go into it and show you guys what I did. So this is a seven by nine. The kit is gonna be a little bit different for the A5 because just in sizing, it, it's just different, and that's the way it is. I did have to um, make some updates um, because I did a first try and I realized that there was some things that were off, so I made some updates, and let me show you what I have. So this is the monthly view, okay, for seven by nine planners. And what we have in the monthly view is we have our date dots, we have the strips to cover here, and you can always request a Monday start. I'm happy to do that um, for you. And then we have a lot of functionals that you can carry into your weekly uh, or your daily or whatever it is that your planner is. And we have a couple of very thin washi strips because I don't know about you, but I sometimes need to mark things that happen throughout the week with washi. Okay, so this is the monthly. And then I have the sidebar. And in the sidebar kit, what you get is the um, sticker to cover the note pages. Oh boy, I made it wider and now I don't know if it's going to fit. Yeah, it should fit. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Uh, because I measured everything with my old planner, not with this one. Then I was like, what was I thinking? But anyway, it, it is going to work out. Um, so you'll have the sidebar, but you, what you'll also have are, you see how over here you have a couple of days and then over here you have a couple of days. So you'll have one that can cover a couple of days at a time but you also have individual ones that you can use to cover these two or that you can use to cover specific squares like for example birthdays or um, holidays or something of that sort and then you also have this big one um, and you won't always get to use that one unless you have like an event that happens throughout the whole week let's say you're going to take vacation and then you want to cover all the all those days then by all means go ahead and use it but i think this one is just like a three-day one so um you could use it for that uh or you know just use it wherever because remember you also have note pages so you're very welcome to use it in your note pages in case you don't get to use it um in your planner but for some months you will be able to use it anyway um, so this is what the sidebar comes with and then for the dashboard this dashboard is super cute and I don't want to cover this right um, I only do washi for these two here so it doesn't make sense to do washi for this one I just thought well we'll just do the lower one and it coordinates with the font it coordinates with this and uh, you can always use whatever's left over here to kind of plan this page. 
I will most likely uh, be doing a simplified version of the journaling pages for people who like to set up this page as well. Um, kind of just keeping with this color palette. And as you can see, I am doing like, uh, I can't do the exact Heron Condren color because even for them from planner to planner, they have a variation because it all depends on the printers uh, that are used and all that stuff. But the colors are very similar. Like they're a very, very good match. And you can, you can see it here. Um, I don't think that you can see, like some colors are spot on and others are a little bit, you know, um, a little bit off, but it's just minimal. And given that the Eta V prints here have different hues and tones of this same color, it's going to work super well. Um, the same for the, um, I'm going to do my daily duo in the, you know, that one that looked like, like if it was, um, like little strips of paper uh, from last year. I, I always forget the names of the designs for N. Condren, but you'll see when I film this video, like the equivalent of this one for my A5, because I will be doing a June monthly quite soon, and I will be using the A5 kit in my A5 daily duo. So let's get to it, okay? Let me set this up. I have not tried it after I made the adjustment, so if there's anything that's off, I will for sure go ahead and adjust it. And the first thing that was off that I realized yesterday was this. Um, so that's my first try to just make sure. You see, and the other one was super long, and this one is attached short. Um, but it's okay, I'll, I'm gonna fix this. This is why I haven't um, sent these to production quite yet. And by production, I mean to the other printer. Um, maybe the strips that I was using yesterday will cover this one because I just feel that it's a tiny bit. I don't know. Okay, so just please know that over here, I am testing my sticker kits. And when that happens, sometimes there needs to be adjustments. So this one will go up to this um to this line and it'll cover it, okay? You won't have that extra little bit hanging there. Um, I need to go back. And yes, you can see like I have plenty of space here because it used to be larger, but now I shrunk, shrunk it too much. So, um, okay, but that's, that's okay. Um, I feel that it's all a part of the process. And that's the thing, when I design something new um, that is not the regular thing that I that I had been doing, uh, there's like a little bit of a learning curve. And you know, we're having the same issue here, but again, I'm gonna make them both um, fit properly, okay? Now let's go and set up the sidebar. Like, what I like to do with the sidebar is I like to go flush, uh, I kinda, this a little bit okay let's try and do it again I like to go flush as much as possible to um, here and you see the sidebar fits perfectly so um, your washi will hit um, will hit this mark so don't worry about that okay so now the sidebar I'm happy that the sidebar is how it has to be so I'm excited about that and I'm gonna use this double one down here, um, I kind of want to go ahead and, you see, it's it's always a hit or a miss. This one is too big. You see what I'm talking about? So I definitely need to um, update this one. And since we're here, I'm just gonna put it here. Um, and since we're here already, let me try this one and I'm sure it's gonna also be off. Well, you see this one is off, but it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't show, it could be a little bit longer. So yeah, I still have to make adjustments. And I'm just gonna play with these two boxes until I get the size right, and then I'll insert it into the design of the planner because I, I, I don't feel like, you know, battling with this too much. Okay, um, that's okay though. It's part of the process of designing stickers. So these are two things that I need to change, which I will. This is not a problem or an issue for me. 
And then now we have um, these boxes. And these boxes do fit perfectly. So these boxes are fine. And I want to um, just go ahead and use this one here just to cover these other two. Oops, <laughs> this got caught onto my hair. I was, um, everything itches. I think it's allergies all over. <laughs> so I was kind of scratching my ear and just brought it with me. Okay. So now um, we need to set it flush over here and then we'll kind of do the same right over here. And maybe, you know, I should have gone a little bit further down. Uh, I mean, it is what it is, that's fine. Anyway, now what I'm gonna do is start planning. I don't have that many plans, so this is gonna be fast. I promise I'm not gonna hold you guys here forever and ever. Um, so the first thing I wanna do is both on the 8th and on the 22nd, I w and I made these a little bit um, shorter than the box on purpose because I feel um, that when they're too big, it's kind of hard to make it fit and sometimes it, it's just a little bit complicated. So um, these were made um, that way on purpose, okay? And this is like it's always been for my seven by nine um, stickers. Um, okay, so functionals. I am excited. Um, we have a cleaning service coming. Price is great. They do a great job. Um, and like deep, deep cleaning every single time. So I'm basically kind of paying um same or even less than what i was paying before and this is a thorough deep cleaning so um yeah that's always good right anyway okay so i want to mark that and then um on the 18th we have allergy shots and i am just gonna go grab one of the appointment labels <laughs> I need to flip these over. I, you know, I realized this, that I needed to flip them and I forgot, so it's good that I'm doing this video. Um, okay, so for allergy shots, that's gonna be on the 18th. So I need to flip my page. And let me just um, do it this way so that I can um, use them as close as I can to this. And I don't remember what time, but I have a sticker for this, but I just decided to go ahead and write it. I need to check on the time though. I don't remember which time it is. And then on the 25th, I have another appointment, which is um, my dental cleaning. So let's just go ahead and, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to keep it though, because I think we're gonna be traveling. Um, and I didn't write the time either. Um, oh, let me tell you, I forgot to write the times. It's okay. I'll write them down once I'm done with the video. Um, okay, so it is my understanding, and I'm going to mark it this way. I just don't know if that's exactly it. That from August the 21st, which starts here so from August the 21st right until and I'm just gonna cut it like so um, and it's gonna go through these days here and then it's going to continue over here. We are going to be off from gymnastics. So I will um, 
write that down. Um, well, yeah, I'll just do the same on each side. That's okay. Oh, I have to go lower because that way, whatever other plans we have, I can, you know, mark them on the upper section of this. Okay. There. And I basically just need a little bit over here from this one, right? Because it ends here. So I have a little bit of leftover, which I'm gonna put back down here. And I want to use these guys to write that down. Um, no gymnastics. No gymnastics. So one, two, I need four of those. Right? And I do have gymnastics scripts that I'm going to grab. Just because I feel that my no isn't necessarily ugly, but then I don't like my G. <clears throat> and I do like this um, Gen Plan fonts. Uh, Jen plans font a lot so I do like this one a lot so instead of using my own handwriting I'm just gonna go ahead and use the one that I really love and that'll give um, the no a little bit of time to dry and I know that with summer plans a lot of you might not uh, be planning during these months um i will for sure still keep my my monthly and quite possibly my weekly well if i'm going to be home uh working of course i'll keep my daily but if we're out and about um it might just be the weekly uh, which i'll be keeping so okay there's that here, um, I did not put the date dots, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a few of them on so you guys can see this. And while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna remind you guys that if you like my channel to please um, subscribe, it means a lot to me. And it also lets YouTube know that my channel is worth showing to other people. And that is always great because it's, the one sure thing that's going to help my channel grow when you guys interact with my videos and the ways for you to interact are by uh, through subscriptions, uh, turning on the bell notification, hitting the like button and all that stuff. And I know that sometimes you guys kind of get tired of people saying this to you, um, but I know for my own experience that sometimes I forget. I get like so... Um, deep into watching the video that I forget to um, execute any of these actions. I should have done this before um, placing these down. And I'm super excited when, when I'm reminded because I'm like, oh, had I not been reminded of this, I would have just totally forgotten that that's something that I, um, that I was able to do to help out the people that have content that I like and enjoy. And um, the other way is uh, leaving a comment, which I actually appreciate and love. And I do take the time to go through all the comments and I do take the time um, to react to all of them, if not reply to them all. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, there are like comments that there's not really much to reply to, but if there's something to reply to your comment, be sure that I will be replying to it. Um, I know that a lot of YouTubers just go like, 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 like everywhere and they don't quite reply, um, but they do read them all, right? So I just wanna say that um, I read them all and I reply to a lot of them too. Okay. So, sorry for that rant, but I'm almost setting up the date dot, so I might as well just continue finish this um, task up because I think it's 
It's just gonna make it look cuter. You'll see. Do you guys already have vacation plans? Do you know what you're doing? We don't know what we're, what we're doing. Well, I mean, I'm saying we don't know, but we actually do. Um, I don't think we're gonna be doing it in these weeks though. Um, she won't have gymnastics and it would have been great to do vacations, but I think my husband is um, with work and stuff. We can't make it work, so she'll have to miss gymnastics at some point. So yeah, anyway. Okay, let me show you this. So that you can see with your own eyes what it looks like oh and you know what I did not do um, I like to do it this month and the next month here so let me just go ahead and set that up before um, I like to do a this month and I like to leave like just a little bit for next month okay and as you can see, uh, I was doing this a little bit crooked, so. But look at this, isn't this cute, right? I'm keeping the Eta V pattern, and this is not crazy with all the colors. It's very m monotone, but it pops out and it looks super cute. I, I'm just so excited about this. And over here, you can do to-dos. Um, you can also use some of these guys, like for bills and important. You betcha that I'm gonna use some of these. Um, and I'm actually just gonna go right in here and do bills. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a better job setting down the important. And then um, I'll, I'll use some, some of these little dots over here just so that I can um, keep track of those. Just make sure you can see this. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. And I, my builds, it's more like certain categories or certain things that I do manually uh, that I need to remember to do because otherwise most of the stuff has um, automatic payments set to it but there are some things that I do like to go in and do manually so those are the things that I'm going to write down here and then up here I can do whatever you know it's up to you to do whatever you want so look at this super cute right I love it I personally love it so now let's go with the dash to the dashboard and before I do go to the dashboard even though I need to make these um fit differently I kind of want to play with this a little bit and just make sure to get to use all of my little boxes. And these are going to be kind of like projects and things. So I have the space to write them down, but then I also have other stickers that I can use. And if you guys know me, you know that I like to use this guy on this side. Oh, I did not cut this. Oh, boo. I did not cut this one. Well, it's fine, but what I would do is um, set it down here, right? And it looks like it's gonna go over the page, but it's not because remember that I cut, um, that I, this is, that ha this has a bleed, so I won't, you know, cut that big. But let's just go and do this one. And I like to set my habits on this side, but it's good that I caught that I don't have a cup file for that one. Uh, and then this one seems to be a tiny bit big. I, I don't know if they're cutting the pages smaller because this one fits perfectly on my other planner. So it just seems that um, they're cutting the, the, the holes in a little bit deeper. It'll still fit and it's gonna be fine and it looks great. Um, I can't change the size of it because then it won't be able to fit like my other Erin Condren planners, such as this one, right? Um, but if, if I put these together, um, it kind of looks like, I don't know, it looks like they're on the same spot. But for some reason, I don't know, that it feels a little bit tighter to put on this one. Okay, I might make it a tiny bit. I might stretch it 
like um ah shrink it not stretch it a bit we'll see and then i'll do my habits here right and um i will go ahead and set up the little stars up here because i like these for this section i really like these over here and if you had any like if i hadn't used all the other washi i could always just use some uh thin washi here but i don't know i don't think you really need it but in case you do there it is let me see i don't think these fit in here oh they do okay so let's just use these right oh i'm going out of the line yeah they almost fit but they have to be able to cover this so that's why i do not make them um smaller because then they won't cover up here so if, if you don't want to use the stars and you want to use these guys you need to be able to cover them anyway okay and then um you can order from custom scripts any any type of header that you want to use here i know i used to put a whole bunch of stickers but i feel that that was a lot of waste because there were like two 10 different scripts and you guys were only using two i think it's best to um kind of work on the cost effectiveness for you guys and then you can just totally um get your custom scripts for whatever it is that you're always using this okay so look at that super cute right i think it looks great i love it um and then um i'm still going to use this page as soon as i'm done here i'm going to go with my guillotine and i'm just going to cut it square peel it off and um add it up here and uh continue just playing with it a little bit but let me just finish this video with my monthly view and this is my first plan with me with using the new i think it's inspire that it's called i i always forget so um i kind of used all these up i still have some flags and i still have a good amount of um like boxes and functionals to work with because if you're like me like this looks like that right now because i'm filming this in may but if i were to film this in july i'm sure that i would have used a lot more stickers even though august is a month where there's not that much happening there still is plenty um that's going to be going on believe me and you'll see <laughs> when the time comes uh for me to film plan with me so, okay thank you so much for watching i hope you like the new items i will link the link um to uh, both listings down below because there's a 7 by 9 and an A5 version. Uh, as of right now, I only have um, the 12 Erin Conran colors that kind of coordinate with the tabs on the side. Um, I have not um, gotten the colors for the pastels, floral type of uh, new colors that are out. I do have flora. I do have... Um, the pastel neutrals, I do have those colors. So if you're looking for one of those, shoot me a message so that I can make that possibility available for you in the listing, or we can talk that you will order whatever and then in notes to seller, you'll tell me, but shoot me a message before placing the order, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this. I'm super excited about this and take care and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.